Cox 3. Isn't this the chemical tombstone was exposed to as a kid? What's he doing with it now? I'm sure these guys will enlighten us, or we can just beat them up and interrogate them. Oh! Oh yeah! Let's go, come on. Oh, I completely forgot about this. Oh, and you're uh, just kind of completely oblivious to what's going on here. Almost completely walked past me. Uh, yeah, I'd almost... completely forgot about this. Yeah, before we even begun the game. There we go, so we can knock them out of that state. Yeah, before I'd even begun the game, uh, I was checking out articles by the Daily Bugle. And they were talking about a new super drug that was hitting the streets called Grave Dust. Alright, you know what? Ooh. Excuse me, buddy. Trying to shoot me from afar. More and more backup arriving. Yeah, checking out Daily Bugle articles talking about how there was a new super drug on the streets called Grave Dust. Okay, so he's all souped up, but one huge, spectacular spider-powered hit is still enough to take him out. Sorry, guys. If you want to try making yourselves... Got a bad feeling those drug inhalers and the Diox-3 are related. Should analyze an inhaler to find out what's going on here. If you want to try making yourselves little mini supervillains, I'm going to treat you as such and lay one hell of a beatdown on you. Okay, uh, looking for one of the masks. There we go. Ah, inhalers. Alright, what's in you? Okay, one of these. So, proving that I'm a super genius once again by solving a simple puzzle. Yeah, this is basically the ultimate proof that I could... Oh no, I see, I see. So we'll put that one there. Yeah, the ultimate proof that I could easily be a super scientist. Able to match some lines up. I'm a genius. Diox 3 plus designer amphetamines. Pretty clever recipe for temporary invulnerability. I'm impressed. And worried. This stuff hits the street and there'll be a huge market for it. With Tombstone as the sole supplier. I think I can synthesize a counter drug. I wonder if there are any lab supplies in that truck. Okay, so instead of going all the way back to our lab, we're going to uh, concoct something right here. Time for some artisanal science. There, single dose of the counter drug. Just need to test it out. All right, so more enemies coming to play. Oh, this might actually be the end of the mission. Alright, so we'll be heading somewhere else to test our little formula out. And uh, yeah, once again, you're kind of overstating how powerful these guys are, Pete. Just completely invulnerable. No, 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 no. We went up against one of those guys and doing a super move, just putting all our power into one big hit, did the job. But yeah, going to have to find another group of baddies to test this thing out on, what are you looking at? and hopefully you are so cool. oh, yeah. it's going to work. So Tombstone, let's get ready to rumble. Time to show Tombstone 
his tombstone. <laughs> Good one, Pete. Well, we're not going to be killing him. Just going to beat him up some. And uh, yeah, damn, if we're going to test this formula out on someone, I, I guess it might as well be the big boss himself. So if this thing does work, are we going to be removing Tombstone's powers forever? I mean, he's still going to have the super strength, I'm guessing, and some durability, but yeah, going to be able to crack his head in quite a bit easier if we get rid of his incredibly tough exterior skin. We'll see. Maybe it'll just be a uh, temporary solution. At the very least, once we test this thing out, the main benefit of it is going to be helping out the cops, because whilst we can just power through all these enemies, while we can just power through all of these different enemies with our fantastic spider powers, the cops are going to have quite a bit more difficult time. So yeah, need to find a formula for their sakes. and switched the difficulty up to hard. Tombstone more than deserves it. The angry drug lord drank alone. There's a poem in there somewhere. <laughs> you know better than me. Never was the literary type. <laughs> Okay, some banter, and now a big old fight. How do you even manage to connect with Martin Lee? Uh, I'm top of my game. I don't go knocking. People find me. Wow, took up my entire web shooter bar. You could punch two things for days and you wouldn't feel it. I wonder if the counter drug would work on it. Gloria, get in here! To actually slow him to a standstill. Jeez. Okay. Hurts when it rains, but otherwise dandy. Sweet of you to ask. I can't use the counter drug till I take out Tombstone's gang. Okay, so, uh, oh, so obviously yeah, I never want to be hit in a fight. You have your marketing department cook that name up? I am the marketing department. Obviously I never want to be hit in a fight, but... Now that I'm playing on hard. Oh, same sort of move against uh, Kingpin. Right from the beginning of the game. Uh, yeah. Obviously I never want to be hit in any sort of fight, but uh, now that I'm playing on hard, I definitely don't want these small fry landing a hit on me and making them look better than they really are. He's wearing down. I'm close. Yeah, I'm really liking this in comparison to uh, the other boss battles of the game because they're all really grand and they have their own special gimmicks and things like that. This, it's just a brawl. Not so tough. Now are you? <laughs> well. Funky. Oh, you know, particulate deblocking agent. Huge. Welcome back to the human experience, Lonnie. I mean, don't get me wrong. You're still incredibly tough, but uh, you're going to be. My tongue's supposed to feel funny. Oh yeah, someday, Lonnie. I want to find you doing good. Uh, Wanting a soup kitchen or something. Soon as soup pays, I'm in. End of the day, this is what I love. Great. You and I are very different people. Uh, 
Can we say your crazy drug lord days are done? Please? Sure. For now. Hell of a run, though. <laughs> Not quite how I'd describe it. Ooh, broke his arm. Or popped it out of its... That's new. <laughs> Too much to hope you'll be taking it easier now that you're, uh, you know, mortal? <laughs> Not a chance. Threat of death just ups the thrill. Hell of a left hook. Can't wait for the rematch. I can. <laughs> I like you. Oh boy. Uh, yeah, he's still incredibly tough, but uh, without so much vast amounts of durability, much easier egg to crack. Oh, and, uh, alright, having to transition from night to day again, even though we were inside the building, so a transition didn't really matter, but okay. Well, that was dramatic. Wonder how long Tombstone's powers will be negated for. Probably not long enough. Good work for now, though, Pete. Pat's on the back all around. Oh yeah. See a fire burn like that? Chem fire. He knows what they had in this place. So. But it was just a bike shop. It still might not do in Tombstone's powers for good. But at the very least. It will combat the street drug grave dust and help out the cops. So any last remaining gang members start using that, cops can just unleash a smoke bomb or something with the formula in it. And that will deal with the problem. And yeah, damn. Um, yeah, nice fight. Didn't go on for long before uh, Spider used that formula. So I, I guess w without it, Spidey would have just been wailing on him for an hour. <laughs> would have eventually beaten him, but yeah, would have just taken ages. Tombstone buried. Drug Lord Lincoln and gang arrested. I'm not planning to. Although I am done with the game for now. <laughs> yeah, nice fight, nice brawl, and that is everything in the city completely completed. All bosses sent to the raft, all gang members deteriorated, all random crimes dealt with, so the city is completely safe until some DLC comes out. So, join me next time when the heist is released. And I think that should be tomorrow by the time this uh, recording comes out. So, until then, bye for now. Oh, and as always, leave me suggestions for any superhero type games you'd like to see me play, and if they look good, I'll play them at some point. I'm getting emails from the rapidly shrinking yet still stubbornly obtuse contingent of Spider-Man fanboys and fangirls blithely insisting he did a wonderful thing, shutting down a drug lab run by a delightful fellow whose street name seems to be, wait for it, Tombstone. Now, I'm glad he's behind bars, but do you know how Spider-Man shut this operation down? by setting it on fire. Do you know what drug labs do when you set them on fire? They explode! Spider-Man could have taken out the entire block with his criminally reckless grandstanding. Fortunately, New York's bravest, our firefighters, contained the blaze because that's their job. And if Spider-Man had any sense, he'd have turned over whatever information he had on Tombstone to the police and let New York's finest do their job but no he thought the best way to handle drug dealing is with arson the 
imagine this. A stray shopping cart dents your car. You take it to the auto body shop, only that shop is a front for a drug lord called Tombstone, and he and Spider-Man have decided to have a power struggle at that precise moment. Sir, tell us the rest. I, I start to go in and I see Spider-Man fighting this massive guy with fangs like a shark. That would be one Lonnie Lincoln, a.k.a. Tombstone. Did it seem they were fighting over drug profits or merchandise? I understand there's talk of a new drug that turns its users into zombies. I don't know what it was about. I got my ass out of there. Sir, I understand you've been through a lot, but please refrain from using that kind of language. This is a family show. Sorry. Uh, anyway, I'm glad I split, because pretty soon, the cops and firefighters are there. Ah, the real heroes. What a relief. I think we can all use a happy ending. I thought this was a family show. Jared, get rid of him! <laughs>